Message of Saint Michael the Archangel In the Light of Mary January 30, 2022 People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ These are moments of concern for humanity that waits without knowing that, even if they deny it, this state increases in creatures without faith who do not love and do not adore the Most Holy Trinity. Beloved people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, Holy, 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 Lord, God Almighty, the One who was, who is and who is to come. Reverend 4, 8. Great is the divine power to redeem you from sin. In this generation, as in the previous ones, disobedience has been the cause of great evils for humanity, man rebels against God and man falls prey to his own inventions. We keep you before us. My legions watch you every moment and I invite you to be followers of the divine will. Decide now. To seek salvation. And for this it is necessary that they be creatures of unwavering and firm faith thirsty for the salvation of all humanity. What would the human creature be without the Divine Presence? What will become of the human creature in the face of his consciousness? People of God, the core of the earth is being unpredictably subjected to the influence of the sun, the moon, and celestial bodies that travel through space around the earth's orbit which affects the elements on earth and the creature human suffers what has not suffered before. At this time they must be cautious with the sea and be vigilant so that they do not take risks. The elements have changed and are pouring down on the earth to purify it. The earth will continue to shudder from its hotter core, and the heat is rising to the surface. This leads to dormant volcanoes awakening and active ones increasing their activity preventing several countries from using their flight routes and human creatures will not be able to reach where they reside until new routes are re-established. The human creature is enjoying life as if nothing were happening at the moment. The disease plagues humanity and will continue to mutate and with new diseases that will continue. Some are scattered from the air by misused science and humanity is not aware of it. The human creature more and more distant from the Holy Trinity and from our Queen and Mother focuses on the pleasures of the world, ignoring the signs and signals of this moment, leaving aside what heaven tells him. Europe will meet at dawn and it will be Babel. And all humanity will suffer as a result of it. The children of God must be instructed in what is coming for humanity. Loving God should not keep them in the ignorance in which the majority of the people of God live. Instruct yourself. So that they do not deny the undeniable and do not separate from the correct path. Faith and reason do not contradict. They contradict each other when the human ego penetrates the mind of the human creature and keeps it in a constant debate between faith and reason. The human ego is strong in some creatures and manages to divert them from the path. O people of God! You will witness the power of the elements that are shaken by the changes that the earth is undergoing from its core. Changes exerted by the influence of the sun, the moon and the asteroids that from where they are already influence the alterations of the earth's magnetic field, which contributes to the shaking of tectonic faults on earth people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, who will resist the coming changes. Those who do not spin or hesitate when professing their faith. Those who prepare themselves in faith and their trust in divine mercy is stronger because they have been participants in the greatness of the Holy Trinity. Those will stand firm. This is the moment in which you must maintain trust in the divine promises. Give thanks to Yahweh for his love, for his wonders with the sons of Adam. For the gates of bronze he broke, and the bars of iron he broke in pieces. Psalm 107, 15 and 16. Fear not, they are children of the Most High. Fear not and keep the faith. Pray for all humanity, pray. With my sword raised I protect you. 
San Miguel our Cangel. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary, from Luz de Maria. Siblings. To better understand the word Babel in the message of Saint Michael the Archangel, I tell you what he explained to me. The word Babel comes from the verb Babel which means to confuse. In this case, it is not man who builds a tower to reach God, but on the contrary, man does not want God on earth and is giving within its great confusion what is from God to an elite to live under his rules in every aspect. Both in the biblical narration and in the reference made by Saint Michael the Archangel, pride disobedience and the arrogance of man are present. As a result of these faults, in the Tower of Babel there was great confusion since they could not understand each other even among the families themselves. Now we see that within the same families there is discord due to the external power that has come to separate, not through languages, but through the impositions that we all know. It is the moment when within families some will denounce others, in society chaos will be experienced in the face of man's confusion due to the events that will take place on earth and at the service of a large part of humanity towards the envy Christ. There may be other references or meanings of the word Babel, but in this comment the corresponding definition is the one commented on here.